the online dating market has changed a lot since you founded eHarmony. Who is your biggest competitor today? Well, our biggest competitor is Match.com. The Match Group has 52 sites. We have one. They have everyone, <laughs> I mean, except for you. All right, number two. Uh, you were somewhat famously opposed to same-sex couples using eHarmony. Uh, you've since started a, sp a site specifically for that market. In retrospect, was that reticence a mistake business-wise? Well, I don't think it was a mistake. It was the most contentious single subject in America at the time. And people on, uh, there were people on all sides. We lost 350,000 of our members when we started Compatible Partners. But I don't think it was a mistake, but it was a hard thing for America to get over. It was a hard thing for us to deal with. You've since launched Elevated Careers, a service that promises to match job seekers with the perfect job. Why get into the online job space? Oh, the online job space is so exciting. It's a big space. It's an $80 billion space, whereas the, the matching for marriage is like a $4 billion space. But the big thing, Lee, is that if you don't have a job that you really thrill to, that you look forward to and all that. If you come home every night grumpy because you didn't like working with your boss all day, it's gonna tear your marriage down. The one of the best ways that you can get a great marriage is to get a great job. And is it more difficult to find a great job or to find a marriage partner? Well, I, 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 I don't know exactly what to say to that. <laughs> I, I know it's hard to find both of them. If you don't settle, you just really wait for the perfect person for you it's going to take you a little while, but it's so worth it. Marilyn and I have been married 57 years now, and it was so worth it to find Marilyn. Last question. What is your top tip for finding love online? Oh, my top tip is to be adaptable. First of all, be yourself, but then recognize that through life, 57 years, my goodness, we've, she's had to adapt a lot to me. <laughs> And you to her, I imagine. And me to her, too. <laughs> so I would say be adaptable, be yourself, be authentic, and you will be content. And if you're content, you'll be so pleased that you found the right person.